Hello, I'm Rebecca of Knits and Bolts Costume Design and welcome to my channel. Now I learned to sew from a young age from my grandmother, first by hand and then by treadle sewing machine. Now I use my skills to assist my kids with making band and drama costumes. I now sew costumes for myself and do alterations for friends and family. Come along on my sewing adventures and this time our adventure is setting up my new sewing room. I'd like to give you a before of my sewing room. So over there in that far corner where my steamer and dress form are will be ironing station. And kind of right here where that roll of fabric is, I'd like to put some storage. So bookshelf for cubbies. And then over in that far corner will be my antique sewing table. Or then I'm going to place my 1955 Monarch sewing machine. And there where I have all of my supplies currently in front of the windows will be a cutting station. And then I'm going to be using that closet there for my holiday decoration storage. And then I, on the outside of the doors, I'm going to place these hooks. And a lot of folks use them for like coats, towels, things like that. So I'm going to be hanging supplies there. And just here to the right, I'd like to add some more storage. So bookshelf or cubby. So that's the before and the plans that I have for my new sewing room. Well, I've moved the stuff from in front of the windows so that I can start putting together my cutting table. So we'll see if I can get these put together. Everybody, I'm going to show you some progress that I've made. So the ironing table is now together. There still needs to be lots done over there where the sewing machine will go. 
and my cutting table is together. It went together fairly smoothly. Had no issues with the cubby cabinets or anything like that. It was very smooth. I went and had a the tabletop cut to the size I needed and covering it was really simple. Um, now I may have to go with an, a longer term option later down the road, but this will work for now. And I am going to be getting some more of those red and blue baskets to go on each side of the cutting table to control a little bit more of the chaos that's going on on each side of there. And then got all of the holiday decorations stowed away in the closet. And I think I am going to go ahead and add another one of those hooks on the other door so that I can hang more tools and supplies up there. And right here by the door, I did mention that I wanted to do cubbies or bookshelves. This is all my craft supplies. And there's just not a way to get it organized without having some sort of bookshelf or cubbies there. So, cause that's where I'd like to have that. And then I had mentioned that I also wanted to do storage right here on the other side of the door. And at the bottom of the frame here, you can see these red binders. Those are my costume Bibles for each era. And currently they're just kind of sitting there and I would like to be able to add sewing books and other things. So I'm going to put a bookshelf here so that I can have vertical storage. Now, depending on how much my antique table takes up over in the other corner here, I do think I'm going to have to have it down this direction more closer to the dress form, which will leave some dead space over in the far corner there. So that might be smaller vertical storage at some point. I do think that this is going to come together sweetly. And so yeah, I am enjoying all of the storage. I am so glad so far that I do not have to cut patterns on the floor or iron fabric on the floor. I'm so looking forward to what comes next. Hello friends, here is the after. My sewing room is put together. My ironing table is put together. I do still need some storage here between um, the door and the ironing table for books and more storage. I've got my um, steamer tucked away in the corner. I was able to get some stuff up on the walls, put my antique sewing table in place. I had dead space over there in the far corner, so my dress form went over there, hopefully to get it on caster so it can move more freely. And I've got most of my fabric wound on bolts. I made custom made the bolts to fit my cubbies and I brought in a little entertainment there because I'm fixing to work on my next project and I was able to get everything off of the floor except for my craft items that are right here by the door. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to get some cubbies or some bookshelves or something in there to get that stuff stored away. But I'm absolutely loving my new space. And I'm hoping to bring you along for adventures to come in this space.